So my grandparents are the first generation to live on this farm. My grandfather actually built this house by hand. He made the bricks and then yeah, he built it himself. So every holiday we would come here. And you know, when I was younger, I didn't appreciate it that much because I was like, why do we always go to the farm? I want to go to the beach, blah, blah, blah. And I appreciate it so much more now than when I was younger. And yeah, so now my parents are retired. They have now actually moved here more permanently. And I must say, I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> so when my grandparents used to live here, of course it looked a little bit different. Um, my parents have spiced it up to make it more livable, but we didn't have electricity. We didn't, we don't even have cell phone reception here. Like you can't, you don't have cell phone reception. We only got Wi-Fi connection maybe like five years ago. Um, no, not even five. I think even less. <laughs> I think like three, yeah, you know, three years ago, we got Wi-Fi connection on the farm. So yeah, it's really a place where you can forget about society and any, anything that happens outside. So when my grandmother used to live here, she actually, those were schools. So she was the teacher in this area because um, it's quite far from town. So it's about 40 kilometers from town and all the kids, looked, um, the parents worked on the farm. So she was like, well, they can't get to school. And so she built these two schools and yeah, so she taught all the kids here. So um, the people who still work on the farm with my dad, my dad grew up with them and their parents were students of my grandmother. So yeah, it's such a nice tight community here on the farm, like um, generations that are stay together, work together. Um, but John, now, so now we have, a few years ago, we have changed it into a hunting, we call it the yachet, which means actually is just a bed and breakfast. So you can just come and sleep over and there's beds and the kitchen and some showers. Um, so yeah, and some, a place to make a fire. So when we were younger, my cousins used to come visit us on the farm as well. And then the, my parents would put us in, <laughs> into this place because we would make too much of a noise. So they didn't want us in the house. And so we would stay here. So we're there, we can make fire. It's locked now. Oh, I don't have the key. We're leaving now, so. But yeah, it's really comfortable, cozy. The one over there is a smaller one. It's only a one bedroom. Um, that was the second school classroom she opened. When the school grew, all the kids in the area came to her school. Um, so yeah, it's pretty amazing. And maybe that's where I got my teaching, passion for teaching from and children from my grandmother. Um, she was on the farm, but she saw an opportunity that the children here needed education. So she started her own school, so yeah. Go grandma. So this was another classroom. This was the second classroom. But now it's a little bed and breakfast. Oh, I remember these. <laughs> oh, so cute. This is the Hans Lammers. Hans Lammers means um, they are taken care of by us <laughs> because their parents maybe died or they left them in the field and we need to take care of them. So they get very um, comfortable with you and they will, there's one, one there. He's very cute. He will run to you and come to you. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, bye. So, omdat het droogte is op die oomlik, 
Um, het droogt dan al voor een paar jaar. Moet bij pa die zakken aankoop en dan vat hulle die voer naar die kralen toe en in die veld toe, dan kan die dieren daar so van het eet. Want daar is nie genoeg kos as gevolg van die droogte nie, wat nogal is... is ja, is een groot probleem. Um, en die goeders kost baie, 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 baie geld. So, uh, ons bid my elke dag vir een bykie hierheen. Nee, een bykie nie, eindelijk een bykie baie. <laughs> so, hier jy was. Of is nog, voor ons koeie melk. So, die koeie sal inkom, en dan staan die koeie hier om elke die koeie. Dan eet hulle, en drink water, en dan word hulle gemelk. Melk hier nie so baie nie. Toe ek jonger was, het ons elke ochtend gemelk. Dan was vers melk gehad vir dag. Maar nou, ja, is meestal net die werkers wat melk vir hulle. Voel ons af. Zij praat met jou. <laughs> ja, Bassie. Zij praat met jou. Kom, Bassie. Kom. Ja, jij hoeft nog maar rond te volgen, hè? This is a pear tree, and it is probably almost 100 years old. It's amazing. Let me show you. My grandparents planted it when they built this house originally and yeah, it's still here. It's absolutely beautiful and the pears are starting to grow but because of the drought um, there's not really anything yet. And these are lemon trees. Lemon trees where my brothers and I we used to have lemon fights where we would take the lemons and throw each other with it. Yeah. <laughs> The silence, the wind, nature, animals. Yes, this is my farm look. Ooh, someone's ready for the long road. Hi, Lulu. Lulu Bell. Wash your ear. Wash your ear, guys. They love traveling. Hi, Bassi. Is your for the long pad? My mom is a packer on another level. She can get anything into the car. <laughs> Bye, farm. Can you miss 